Hi, this is Deb from BusinessBuildingShortcuts.com and I want to show you three quick ways to take screenshots with your PC. The first way is to just hit your print screen key. <laughs> the first way is to simply hit your print screen key. It's usually in the upper row of the keys on your keyboard. If you just do that and then paste it, you're not going to see that anything happened until you paste it, control V, into an application. It's going to take a picture of your whole screen. If you want your active window only, just hit Alt print screen, but first you have to make a window active. So let me show you how those work. What I'm going to do is just hit print screen. You see when I paste it onto my PowerPoint slide and I had to shrink it quite a bit, it shows all of my screen. But I just wanted to take a picture of this window, so let me show you how that would happen. I'm making the window active in the background and now I'm going to hit Alt print screen. Now let me paste the new one into here. And now you can see that this time I didn't take a picture of the whole screen, which is still showing in my picture, but this picture that I took is just of my active window, which happens to be my PowerPoint. So that's how you use print screen. The next is to go to jingproject.com and get their free software. Now this is for PC and Mac, so you just download the free software and install it. You create a free account. You need to have that. And then you use the Jing Sun to capture and select an area of the screen. Then you click on what you want to capture. You copy it and you paste it. Let's go see how that works. When you've downloaded and installed the uh, Jing project, what you'll get is this little sun at the upper center part of your screen. And when you hover over it, you'll see these little teeny three little options. The one we want is this one. Okay, what we want to do is go up, select the capture, and you're going to get these orange crosshairs. Now it will both select a window, but you can also select a specific part of your screen. You go to the left upper left hand corner, to one of the corners, left click, and then drag. And See how it dims out your screen, except for the area you want to copy? So now I just let go of my left click and it gives me these options. If I don't like it, I can delete it. I can capture a video, but this is what I want, capture image. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to take a picture of that. Now I'm going to move this up so you can see it. And it's got some options over here. This is a picture I'm taking a picture of, and then these are the things. I can delete it, I can copy it, save it, or of course publish it. I want to copy it. It goes into my clipboard and now I can paste it into an application. Okay, I'm back to a blank PowerPoint slide and I'm just going to click inside of it and go to paste and there is our image. Now like all images that we paste we can enlarge it, we can morph it, all using these little handles. But that's how you paste something from Jing Project. Now let's go show you how to use OneNote which is the only actual paid product of the three. When you use OneNote, first of course you have to purchase it and install it. Then all you do is hit the Windows key, which is the one that shows the four um, segmented flying Windows logo, and the S key at the same time to select a part of your screen. Then the same thing, paste it into your application. But the cool thing about OneNote is that it saves those screenshots so that you can take a lot of screenshots at once, go back into OneNote and get them again and then paste them so you don't have to be pasting them in one at a time. It does have that memory piece. So let me show you how this one works. Here we are at BBS Tutorials and what I want to do is hit open window or the Windows key S and it makes my whole screen turn a color. Then when I it, it dims it out. Then when I go ahead and select you can see it selects a segment of the screen just like it did before but now it's going to pull up the OneNote application. And you can see here that it puts it in unfiled notes and if you want to go back and get it again you would just find the one that it's in click on that one and you'd be able to copy it again. But I've got it in my clipboard right now so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to go back over to PowerPoint 
and here I am in the OneNote screen and I'm just going to control V paste and there is the segment that we just took of BBS tutorials. And actually I wanted to end on this because it's at BBS tutorials where you are going to be able to get more free tutorials like this so we uh, invite you to go over to BBS tutorials and sign up for your free bronze charter membership it's at bbstutorials.com that will take you to the opt-in page that explains it bbstutorials.com forward slash members will take you to this screen and all you need to do is click here on the register bar right here and it will take you to this window that will allow you to click here to register for the bronze level and you can create your free membership. So I hope you enjoyed this.